see where they are banking a little bit. You know, they're leaning more towards, like, the weight is more in towards that early game more right. than anything else. I'm excited to see how this is. Let's see how game two is going to conclude. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, production, for the amazing graphics of the view of the Line of the Dawn. Let's get it on. Because right now we see our beautiful friends, or E1 in this case, in the middle lane. Potato going to be the playing to carry on itself. And Shiku getting ready to find that one opening for his team. Yeah, they're going to have the. Oh, wait, hold on. X ray is already getting, uh, getting attacked by JPL as well as Soul, just to make sure hey, we're going to contest you into the mid lane. We're not going to let you look and figure out which side we're starting on just yet. Because Evil SSG naturally would like to try and go for the invades with Valir, but Aeon, he's taking a little bit more damage than he should be taking here, especially against Moon and E1. Mm -hmm, definitely for sure. Bottom lane as well being pressured out as well by Soul and lo loving how they're constantly switching out who's going to be playing this Soul because both of these players is able to play this play the show really well, but X-Ray got to be a little bit careful. You do not have the amount of burst as you're totally expected compared to the show. Pokemon Hero, he's playing with the Esmeralda, constantly going to be able to do quite a amount of damage, slowly falling back. Despite the rotation coming in from Moon here, it's still not going to be enough. E1, he still has his time revenge if you really want to try to come in for it. There's the flicker, there's the lockdown, and boom! There is first blood being drawn on the side here, Team Toda. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. All right, all right. That's gonna. I guess that's just the way things roll here. Evos, unfortunately for Pokemon, he get he overextends and gets punished for it. But E1 now getting a hit by the smart missiles and the injector with the help oh. of Aeon and Potato. That's going to be that retribution that I was looking for. Evos still ahead, slightly ahead in gold as of now, and they haven't gone too ballsy as to look for these big invades onto Chiku here. Like Chiku is maintaining level against po uh, Potato so far. I mean, this is all. Now they're all pretty, pretty much right now. Tola is just waiting for the moment where Chiku hits that level 4, which he currently is, to really go for that engagement. Thankfully enough, that our dear friend Soul is currently not in that bottom lane because Chiku already rotated to the bottom side to try to go for that pickup. Aeon here to re assist. But here comes the engagement coming from E1, jumping in with a face face and instantly dropping down the Tempest of Blade. Aeon instantly gets assassinated away, and Soul not too far behind. He oh. comes with the flicker, but he's not able to follow up with the Ruin He had to change his target, and X Ray so still live to fight another day. Potato, he's looking to try and kill, kill, collect this kill, and there is X-Ray. Can he get in oh. time? And yes, he does. With the help of his retribution, he picks up the kill onto X-Ray. They are still trading one for one, but Todok now in the lead in kill score. Honestly, Chico able to get the two kills for himself towards that bottom lane was actually pretty great for him as well. But this is pretty much what Todok really want to try to go for, right? Once he hits that level four, they want to group up because they have a lot of engaging here, a lot of initiative, a lot of control. There is no real reason for them to really hang back and just wait for a prime time moment for themselves here. Yeah, and now they're going to be contesting for Turtle once more. Both sides still relatively even. They have to make sure that everybody is ready for this fight. Moon and E1 still not level 4 just yet. Uh, looking onto the side of the supports for EVA SSG, yeah, they're basically even in terms of uh, in terms of levels. Mm -hmm. But right now, Rathas Machete is going to be able to pick it up by Chiku. Going to be able to minus out that armor on whoever he is here. Soul still casually going to be hitting that level 5. Goes forward with the Shippo and the Jiku to try to see if he can go for a couple of trades. Potato going with the rotation to see if you can start a fight because potentially this will be the first the fight we'll ever see is right here in this game number two e1 already coming in the title revenge but i believe everyone responded him out where exactly he is yeah the whole team is here even esmeralda it hasn't even joined the fight just yet they're rotating but so yeah they find the initial catch here can they secure it oh! well, the JPL trying to get out of the way e1 pushes potato right into the back but i'm afraid it's gonna lock him in place that's gonna be potato biting the dust as soul looking to try and look for some kind of retribution and the same goes for Pokemon. Chiku runs away. He has enough energy and that's going to be it. They trade Potato's life for Turtle. Oh, dude, it is so punishing for Potato as well because he actually came to the game with the retribution because it, it's needed for him. But because he doesn't really have Purify or any means of escape besides the Phantom Steps, of course. But there is like four control skills on the side of Team Toda. Yeah, E1 was able to get on top of Potato and JPL, and JPL it as well uh. Uh, as Soul were looking to kind of disrupt the team and they were doing a fantastic job here however it, i don't know they could have gotten a little bit more there but unfortunately the team was just in too many places at once and not funneled in together i mean it was 
Honestly, it was very close for Sol as well, as he, because he was able to get the cash on Moon towards that backline, combined with the way of the Dragon as well, but he easily had to cancel out because he saw Potato easily getting gun on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aeon's still taking quite a bit of damage here. JPL, he doesn't mind getting hit by the, tyr <laughs> uh, by the Tyrant's Rage here. He, he's absolutely fine, especially with Potato right by his back. Like, he pops the ult, dashes once, and with the spinning light wheel on top of everything else, like, Moon gets chunked out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of insane amount of damage, right? Anyway, Soul being the mobile agile hero he is, still split pushing through inside the final lane. Pokemon, however, want to see if we get able to secure that crab. It was a little bit too difficult as Chiku still has his retribution, will commit to get that crab for himself here. But Pokemon still alive, still very well. It's going to be taking at least three members of Team Thunder to really lock this man down. Yeah, po Pokemon has a really important role here because, again, we can see that Chiku clearly is unable to handle the amount of shields that Pokemon is able mm. to develop. So he can't one shot him, so he has to put all his bags in, uh, in, in all his damage into potato here. So it, it's really a give or take depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be really careful as well because this, this turtle is gonna be coming, will be spawning very soon. But this time, Pokemon is gonna be right next to his teammate to literally join them for a potential big pick up. Big cash coming in from JPL. Gonna be throwing actually all the way to the back line with the ejector. Beautiful cash coming in with E1 with the Tyrant Rage well, catching on top of E1. Tempest of Blade gonna be dropped. Out. That's a killing spray for our big man, Chiku. But Chiku gets control, gets locked down, and Soul goes with the way of the dragon, catches X ray as well. One, four, two, and potential. Potentially even the turtle for themselves. Yep, one for two really well. It, it was not looking good for Evos yeah. for a good <laughs> amount of time. Like, Todak was really hard winning that fight, and E1, he found the catch of a lifetime as he got K as he got Aeon right up to a wall. Nicely played, but Sol able to manage to edge out at the end of the day. That third hit of G Kundo really making the difference. Mm, really. Really making all the difference as well. And also you need to take into account as well that the fact that since they come in so much control just to get rid of Aeon, Potato could safely and also confidently get and start kiting around in that fight, knowing full well there's no Tyrant's Revenge or Rage, and all he has to think about is 4 mess, but 4 mess was totally far behind away from Potato. Yeah, I mean, Potato, he got chunked out pretty hard here. Oh, oh no. no! There's not. He has to use the blade, uh, Tempest Blades here. JPL using the Unstoppable Force as well, just to kind of bait it out. Now, what do they do? Can Evos look to punish? Well, I mean, the hype chain is still going, baby. <laughs> We're still rolling. The game's not over yet. It's not over, but I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the next move? Because e so far, Evos has been farming very, very hard here. Soul, he kicks away X-Ray, getting some good damage here. The Molten Sights does come out. Soul dealing more damage with the EXP he has. Potato looking to get a free kill onto X-Ray. He dodges forward, wow. trying to slow him down with the Molten Sights. Moon trying to save the day, but unfortunately, Soul catches up with him. Dude, I think Aeon was just a real. What he did actually just now was really well played. Evo was actually on this way to really back him up. I and mean, just with the Serian Tower and Long, but anyway, speaking of that, Pokemon comes in with the fa Falling Star Moon just to clear out that wave and force the rest of the team away. But Shiku gotta be careful. JBL has it inside. The but then again, all they have to do is just make sure this blue buff doesn't really go to Chiku. They are missing a couple of ultimates though. I don't know how hard Evos wants to commit to this. Pokemon just got his Falling Star Moon back. Aeon is still missing his ult. Potato is still missing his ult. Mm hmm. Still holding on the line too. Still coming out, Aeon already has his Vengeance Flame himself to really go scotch and burn the rest of the team here. JPL gonna be resetting the blue <laughs> once again. I mean, that's pretty much Jawhead, right? Yep, this is some Jawhead stuff. And they really want to make sure that they disrupt this blue buff because Chiku with blue buff, his, he is, especially when you're on Ling, you are mm. limited by your energy. Yeah, I mean, definitely for sure. By the way, here comes blue, JPL trying to find an opening for himself. Gonna be a little bit careful. Throws four minutes all the way to the back line, coming to the unstoppable force as well. Siri Tarn, kiss them in check, and point to Aeon, kiting all the way to the back line, and instantly, there it goes. Four men, but remember, Chico's still a danger at large. They already lost the entire phone line, and Evos actually instantly had to fall back. But same goes for Toda because they committed a huge amount of ultimates just to take that fight in their favor. Well played to Four Mez. Like he gets he gets ejected backwards. The first thing he thinks of, instead of like using the I'm offended to kind of uh, use the I'm offended as a defensive tool or look to go for the taunt, yeah. he actually makes it to a proactive play, catching Pokemon in the pro Pokemon and Aeon in the process. I mean, obviously. Aeon gets to walk away scot-free, but Pokemon and JPL give up their lives. Mm -hmm. By the way, Turtle, here comes it up, but Sally oh. Turtle once again secured by Potato. Bit of a pickup as well, because since our dear friend Chico was currently in the Times of Blade. But here comes the Tyrant Raid, gonna be even more locked down. But remember, this is Jawhead! He is so tiring with the Ejector, he's gonna be tossing another one to the back line, allowing Potato to get another kill for himself here. And now E1 down 
forward account one for one. But remember, Turtle has been secured for the side of Evo's SG. That's the position Potato wants to be in. He wants to be in a relatively safe space, and the problem with carries, he can't exactly get there. Oh, can Pokemon finish wow. this field? Now nope, they're just gonna let JPL do the <laughs> rest of the work, but for Messi, still coming and coming up pretty hard. Ooh, getting some really scary vibes here. Mm -hmm, really well played. And remember as well, Toto is currently feeling the pressure of the fact that like when we talk about scaling, right, especially when it comes to the mark, so carry is gonna be definitely way strong to the competitive link towards this late game. And that's pretty much why you see that both Soul and Pokemon split pushing both of the signage to ensure that the fact that Chiku will not try to split push and pressure them with the minion waves. Yep, it's uh, looking to be a much more even game than we thought here as both teams are refusing to let up. Potato just getting the Golden Staff as well. That's going to be a big buy, Chiku. <coughs> Endless battle. Ooh, that 4 and 1 money. Mm -hmm, 4 and 1 and 2, but also don't forget about Potato as well, who's 3 1 and 4, not too far behind. But here comes JPL uh -oh. with the Jetta. That's actually a big pickup as well. But Moon, a little bit down low, but you still get out alive. Oh. He comes in with the Tyrant Revenge, but certainly not going to be able to connect at all. Serious Tyrant going to be coming in just for good measure. And mid tier 1 tower still. Standing stall, but for how long? JBL goes in with the flicker as well, with the ejector, and it's the catch on top of Moon, followed by Ashley as well. Chico jumps with the mixer, but big pull in with the Tyrant Rage as he locks down Potato. Now they're trying to look for the back line. AO gets assassinated once again with the double kill. Oh, Pokemon still alive. Chico solo, oh, no, he has the pot up, but look at it. Both Soul and Pokemon, they say, I don't need the cores. I am the core. Oh, what a fight. Three for three on either side. Toda played that first initial fight so, so well. Now, Pokemon, he needs to be careful here. He can't afford to take a tower shot. He can go one for one. He's coming in hard with a Star Crescent Star Moon. Fall. Oh, but Chiku, he might be in trouble. They can't hit that last hit of Jiku. No, he oh! can Chiku with a huge outplay. 2v1. Doing the worst part, Souls Way of the Dragon just came up as well. Oh, man. Had that Way of the Dragon come up, that would have been such a game changer. But, Tor uh, I mean, Todak's Chiku, Holy, holy cow! I can tell you this right now. Every time Chiku dies and every time oh. he plays, oh, by the way, beautiful pull up by JPL. He will get tanked by the tower. Seren is going to be able to push him back and push him out to safety. Chiku still finding an opportunity for himself for him to re engage. I can tell you this right now, Gideon. Every time I see Chiku play, my heart starts pumping because I'm trying to tell myself, is he going to die or not? Uh, he, he, really t he really is a risk taker, and that could have <laughs> gone so badly for him. But unfortunately, for Pokemon, it's not going to be his day. Mm -hmm, but you know what they say, high risk comes with high rewards. And with that, round they, were, two. they were able to secure tier one tower. And like you said, <laughs> round two. Oh <laughs> man, I'm pretty sure Pokemon could have just walked up and just taken the tier two, but he's not going to risk it. Not yeah. like this. Soul getting full damage here. He is sick and tired of not having enough damage to secure his targets. He also has high and dry as well. So these 1v1s in the side lane, especially for X-Ray, he really doesn't stand a chance against Soul with this much of a lead. Mm, now it's going to be really difficult as well. Pokemon be able to pick out the Holy Crystal Lion. I said before, oh no. he's not <laughs> he's not a frontliner, ladies and gentlemen. He's also a main core that does insane amount of damage. But either way, Pokemon and Soul still doing a great job spinning out the side lane. But JPL comes in with the ejector. E1 already coming to Tyrant Revenge as well. No way for him to get even up, but he still has a flicker, so he can still get out. Actually, however, he has to be really careful with his positioning. Yeah, I mean, the flickers coming out of Todak must be really frustrating for Evo SG because so far, uh, so far, Todak has only messed up one flicker. Every other time, they managed to kind of create enough distance hopping over structures across the map, <coughs> crea uh, creating a good amount of space for mm. them to escape. Oh, man. And speaking of escapes as well, now with the maps not even more open up as well, or including the side lanes, this is going to be applying even more pressure to Evo SG, despite the fact they know they have a marksman they're going to be able to scale, but Chiku already has already caught up. He's already level 15. 7, 1, and 2, by the way. Just want to remind everyone. Oh, this is big. This is big. And you can see, I mean, I, I looked at X-Ray's build just now, and the, his lack of damage might be biting them in the back, but now Pokemon, he's on the run. It's a 2v1 situation, but not in his favor. He still can deal damage, and with the Holy Crystal, it's going to be so hard for him to win. E1 now in trouble. Hey, on. He's pulling back, but they do secure the kill. Potato finds an opportunity, but Chico, he wants to go for the kill. He gas killing spree. He goes with the Tempest of Blades, looking for one more kill onto JPL. Doesn't find the opportunity. JPL cannot go back Where in. Where the Dragon? Where the Dragon is going to secure it. Chico trying to go one more time. Head to head. 
dead. He's waiting for his abilities to come back up. Potato, he's just dancing around, waiting for the ejector. Unstoppable force gonna throw, throw Chiku back into the fray, but they can't do anything. Moon! Moon he fights it! He fights his son onto Potato, but Chiku can't capitalize on it anymore. He doesn't have his ult. Oh, my heart. My heart can't take this anymore, Gideon. I'm about to have a heart attack, and that's not really good for me at all. I have really low blood pressure. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh no. it, it's not looking good at all. Oh, oh moon. moon. Moon, he's going to take the umbrella back. Oh, the moves. The place. Pokemon, he's tired of this. Just give me your life already. <laughs> oh, man. My name is Tarsai as well. Actually taking a little bit too much damage. E1, jumping in. Not being able to connect. Oh, no. However, Chico, he finds Potato, but instead, he just for good measure, he spot out JPL. Instead, he has to back up. But here comes Pokemon. Coming in with the Falling Salmon. Doing quite a amount of damage. Can he really steal the red? No, he can because Chico still has his red. Yep, and Formessi is there to kind of deter Pokemon. It's like, no matter how long this fight is going to be, I'm going to drag it even longer, so there's no way you can secure that kill onto Chiku. Oh! Whoa. Oh, JPL, he tried. E1, now going to get caught into the fray. Gets kicked by Soul, and he can't get seems to get out. Oh, he's so low, but they can't finish him off as Evos have to pull back when it's already committing two big alts. Oh, man, I can tell you this. Every time they jump on E1, his flicker will always come off cooldown here. Oh, somebody needs to stop him from pushing the side lane, and Chiku, he's so he's gonna get away with it. Pokemon, he's trying to keep up with the fast rotations from Chiku, but overall, it's just not working out. Chiku does not want to interact with, Poke with Pokemon at all. He doesn't really want to. He just wants to split push. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty much what he has to do as well when he's playing the link. Uh -oh. Soul finding his sees Chiku as well, but Chiku is going to back up because he's trying to prepare to go and cut this mini wave. And remember, he's already in the stage of the game where he does so much damage, he can literally just right click all the attack the tower and just instantly break it down. Chiku is dancing around Pokemon right now. If I was Pokemon, I would be so so mad. No, I'm already mad at this case. I'm just like, Chico, please stop. <laughs> Chico, stop. stop dancing around. Please stand still. Let me hit you with my abilities. Please. Oh, my lord. Anyway, he got a, Chico's going to be jumping in the mid, doing a, quite a amount of damage to himself here. And look at that. Four minutes also oh. to this top lane. Now we're approaching towards the stage of the game where Evos SG has to literally group up. But the minute they group up, they Chico was being pushed. Chico can't win this. Pokemon just purchased Blood Wings here. He can deal as much damage as he wants as long as he has his ultimate. He has the opportunity, but Moon is here to change oh. the time. Soul trying to turn this around. Get Trying to look for the kills on the Chico, but unfortunately, he isn't able to get it. Unfortunate indeed. Okay, now they had a back up as well. But the thing, the, but, but the beauty about this as well, Gideon, is the fact that as long as Aeon is still alive, defending against Sieges will not be a problem. However, it will be if they manage to secure this Luminous Lord. I mean, this Lord should be in the bag for Odok so far because they, they are down two members from the side of Evos mm. SG. If they walk up to try and seal this away, it's a suicide mission. Oh man, suicide mission or not, they, like, you know, like what Chico has always been playing, the one style he has play, been playing all the way from regular season, all the way to the playoffs, has always been high risk and high rewards. He's making the magic happen, man. He's snapping his fingers, man. He's hoping to get so much more than this and as of right now x-ray he's doing his job phenomenally making sure that these side lane pushes aren't going to be as effective if e as evos sg wanted it to they're five to five 47 to 48.1k gold not too much of a differential oh man by the way chiku now we see now we see literally the t the tables has turned here now it's totally turned to assert even more dominance towards this jungle here but i think in this case because right now potato is not to say i wouldn't say he's fully Okay, yeah, he is fully stacked. <laughs> <laughs> He's stacked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'm saying, right? Because Evos actually has such a great in the mid game here. They are all pretty, really farmed up here. Now it's just a matter of really getting a hold of Chico and go straight for that one lane push here. Uh, right now, Potato needs to switch out his boots for something. Either he gets a Twilight Armor or he bothers to get out uh, and wins some nature. Soul! He was able to get that first kick onto E1 so far. JPL coming in with the, Soul. Uh, with the uh, unstoppable force, but the backline is already dead. Soul gone as Chico picks up that kill. Potato trades one for one against X-Ray itself. However, they've already broken over to the inhibitor on the mid side. They're trying Chico. to stop the Lord. Pokemon is going to be going down to the Tempest, the Blades. E1 looking for a catch, finds nothing for Messi. Pulls it back with the I'm offended. E1, he's still alive, but Potato! 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 He's, Potato. Potato. he's trying one more time for Messi. So close to pulling it out. It is a four for four trade. It is just Moon and JPL. Oh no, but I don't think Moon is going to be able to deal enough damage though. But then again, beautiful 
the fans, like first things first, what a pull coming in for Formas with I'm offended but Potato, you must remember Blood Wings and all, he is jacked up, he's able to tank so much damage and even apply even more, Jikook didn't even see that coming at all. Yeah, JPL is gonna struggle with these Lord Empowered minions, but Soul finally comes back up from the dead and he's able to head mm. him out. Soul is having a really rough time here because he's using his ultimate as a way to kind of push his enemy and yep. bait them into a fight and bait them into a fight where they have to commit. Because again, when you don't have Way of the Dragon, what part of you does not want to say, hey, he doesn't have a single target CC and it's not gonna one-shot me, let's take him out. Yeah, I know exactly. And the thing is this E1 is to just doing just that. I just mm -hmm. totally understand the fact, like, all right. If I jump in, if I find an opportunity, then I can go with Tyrant's Rage. But even if I can't, I can still waste one major spell, especially like Way of the Dragon, away. Because that's pretty much what it has been doing for the past two fights. Yeah, and Potato here, I mean, something off the Immortality once again. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's not going to do any, him any good. The stats are, just really don't matter. So he gets his boots, he's probably going to wait enough time until he can pur repurchase it uh, repurchase it when it matters. Mm -hmm. But anyway, right now, Evo says you just totally understand the fact that we cannot defend in base. We have to push out. We need to go for pickups and if they can it'll be pretty big because at least this will slowly force Todai members to slowly fall back one step at a time but Todai is just playing a little bit more safe because they know that we just don't need to look for a fight out here just buy out uh, buy our time here buy the time and wait for the mini to slowly push it and siege that way we will win this war of attrition yeah and right now evo says she they want <coughs> to take a traditional front to front fight i cannot reiterate this any more than this mm -hmm. because aeon is in this tough position where he only has two charges of the searing torrent he, oh yes he can shoot in front of him he can shoot behind him simple as that but with the <laughs> fact that chiku and four mezzi uh sorry e1 is so willing to take the fight up front chiku can actually get into the back line and this proves to be a significant problem because moon can get in and out of fights once that yin yang overturn comes in that searing torrent that searing torrent is going to be a key spell to push back as many Tordak members as possible this including Chiku because he can come into the back line at any time. Oh yes, but also you must take into account as well that Formas and Red and E1 both has flicker. So even if they get pushed back here, mm -hmm. they can re-initiate all over again. But anyway, Lord has spawned here. Pokemon doing a phenomenal job spinning this literally split pushing this lane, forcing X-ray out of the fight here. But that just leaves JPL to really make the play for the team here. However, Chiku gonna go for the rotation and get it ready to back up X-ray if the if so he needed. Yeah, Pokemon right now, his job is to look for these split push because he's the only one strong enough to 2v1 potential threats here. And now he's seeing that X-Ray is getting a little too hesitant, which means the rest of the team should be coming. Pokemon is waiting for an opportunity to actually use this falling star move, but he gets caught out and JP... No, uh, soul. soul! He gets caught out too! That's two unfortunate souls taken out here. Evo's SG making the same mistake as last time here, unable to respond in time. Oh, dude, Todak real... Their communication is so clean, right? They are fully committed and the fact like, alright, if we're stopping Pokemon, we're all gonna stick together and go for it. And every time they do that, Evo's SG just realized like, hey guys, this is the second time in a row that the fact that we actually let two of, one or two of our members fell not to a 2v2, but they were actually a 2v5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's not exactly the best odds for Todak here because this Lord is going to be pushing in for the Crystal. This is a do or die situation for Evo's SG. If they cannot uh. defend this, and again, this is an end game scenario, they will be down 2-0 in this best of five. Right now, JPL and Soul needs to play a game of out of their minds in this case. Lost uh, by the way, Lord, the Enhanced Lords or Luminous Lords are really pushing straight towards that middle lane, right into the gates here of Evo's SG because Toda is getting ready to hammer this crystal to take game number two. But however, Pokemon gets caught once again. Beautiful catch coming from E1, but for Mads, he misses his armor friend, and so that is one control skill off cooldown. There's E1, gets caught down by JBL with that Ejector, gonna be sunny for a couple of minutes, but Lord, the danger is still at large. Tempest is gonna be able to drop down, but E1 coming in with the knockout. Potato trying to make for the run, but they're just gonna hit the crystal and end the game, taking game number two. Hold coming out of the gate, super.